Welcome Aries. This is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be the next 48 hours. So we're going to see what is happening for you in the next 48 hours. So the first card out, we have Loyal Heart. You know, I feel like this could be soulmate connection. This could be you and your person coming together. Um, we also have a fork in the road at the bottom. Number 13 may be very significant. Uh, the number 13 is significant with the death card, you know, so there could be something going on, some kind of transformation, but there may be some significant choices that you need to make. You know, there's something that needs to be made in the next 48 hours. So I feel like um, if you're in a relationship, there may be some kind of decision, some kind of uh, pathway that you're choosing differently than what you're doing now. Um, or... I feel like if th this can be applied anywhere in your life, actually, but there's some kind of decision that needs to be made. You're currently at a crossroads, okay? We also have prosperity lies ahead, okay? So I feel like money is coming into you. There's something coming through that's going to make you more stable, more successful, okay? So let's take a look at your angels. What does the angels want to say? Then we'll get into the tarot. Okay, we have spread your wings. Archangel Ariel, do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Okay, so the angels are letting you know that in the next 48 hours, it's time to take action on something. We're going to take a look at the, the tarot to clarify a little bit more to get more messages. So Spirit, give me a message for Aries for the next 20, excuse me, the next 48 hours. Give me a message for Aries. For some of you, this could be within the next 24 hours, you know, uh, but this is a 48 hour reading, okay? So let's get a message for Aries. What's coming forward for Aries in the next 48 hours? Give me a message, Spirit. Give me a message for Aries was coming forward the next 48 hours. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All Aries placements. Okay, give me a message for Aries. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Someone has something they want to say. For some of you, I feel like this is you demanding your respect. You're like standing up for what you believe in. Uh, we have the Chariot card. So you're moving forward. There's something that you are moving forward. You're moving in the right direction, Aries. You're looking towards the future and you're following the universe's guidance. Okay? And we have the tower in reverse. Okay, so let's take a look at your prosperity. Prosperity that lies ahead. Let's take a look. What's coming forward the next 48 hours? Okay, we have the King of Cups. Love, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for your overall energy. And we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, let's take a look at your general message. What actions do Aries need to take this next 24 hours? The Two of Pentacles. You're going to be making some kind of plans, setting some priorities. Um, the Two of Pentacles also could be a choice. Okay. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. There's some kind of discouragement here. I, I feel like it could be due to, and I feel like, you know, right now your finances are looking kind of dim, you know. Um, and there's the Eight of Cups in reverse. At the bottom, Aries, we have the Lovers. So this is Gemini energy. This is also a soulmate connection. You could be connecting with someone at the moment. Or someone is coming through. Uh, someone's going to make some kind of action towards you within the next 20... Within the next... I keep saying 24 hours. For some of you, this is 24. Okay? But within the next 48 hours, someone's going to make some actions towards you. I feel like it's someone that you least expect. 
um, someone that you may not really realize has any kind of feelings for you. But we have the Queen of Swords here. With the Queen of Swords energy, I feel like there's a lot of clarity coming towards you. You know, you're trying to figure stuff out. You're trying to work something out. You know, this is very complex energy. Um, she's she's working things out in her mind to get clarity, right? And I feel like that's these plans that you're making. You're moving forward, okay? You're you're going with the flow of things, and you're not standing still, okay? So that's really good because you you may also have self control when it comes to this person. When it comes to this person who wants to get something off their chest with you, um, I feel like it could very well be this lover's energy who really wants to get something off of their chest, you know. Um, but we also have the we also have a lot of success here. You know, your finances aren't exactly where you want them to be at the moment. But I feel like that's on the way. Prosperity lies ahead. So even if you're not fully balanced now, even if you're not fully stable now, you're moving forward. So you're moving in the right direction. And I feel like those finances are going to balance out. You're going to have to make some choices within the next 48 hours. Right? Um, but with this tower in reverse, I feel like you're trying to... You're trying to avoid some kind of change. You're trying to avoid some kind of thing that you feel like is going to be disaster. You know? Or I feel like you could be just delaying the inevitable. Okay? Um, it could be that there's something that you're just trying to put off. It... I feel like you're moving, so I know that you're not standing still, but I feel like you're trying to, like, stop some some kind of change. Kind of avoid it altogether, okay? There's something that you're trying to avoid that will bring you change. Very interesting. Very interesting, um, Aries. I feel like this Ten of Pentacles in reverse, this is a lot of hesitation. It could also be a lot of procrastinating on your part. Um, may have something to do with this King of Cups here. Uh, you could be male or female, it doesn't matter. But I feel like this King of Cups, I feel like you're kind of delaying something. You're kind of procrastinating when it comes to this King of Cups. So uh, there may be something that you're trying to avoid when it comes to this situation. Maybe you're trying to avoid love at the moment because you're just not ready. Um, but um, for some of you, I feel like you're just in this lazy mode. Like you just don't want to do too much. Like you want to do the least at the moment. Right? Um, but... When it comes down to this tower, okay, I feel like there's something that you're avoiding. And I feel like with this page of wands in reverse, you know, you're you're procrastinating a lot. It could be that you're procrastinating some kind of conflict here in because we have this disappointment over here like you're trying to stay away from drama. You're trying to stay away from conflict, but you're not moving away from it. You're just trying to kind of deflect it, right? So I, I, I feel like you're kind of, you may have a certain lack of direction when it comes to this change. I feel like you're kind of back and forth with yourself when it comes to letting something go that you may need to let go of. You know, maybe something has run its course and now you're kind of, you know, I'm not sure if I want to let this go or not. I'm just not ready, you know. So let's go ahead and clarify. Give me a message for Aries. What is this? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Give me a message. Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Okay, the Knight of Swords. Yeah, something... Something is rushing towards you, and I feel like it's a lot of clarity. A lot of clarity is coming towards you. You're, you're doing a lot of thinking. You may be doing a lot of soul searching. With this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like this is also you demanding your respect in a situation. It could be at work. It could be, you know, in a relationship. But I feel like you're demanding your respect and you're not letting down until you get that. Okay. Um, give me a message for the chariot. What is, why is this chariot here? The page of pentacles. There's a lot of pages in this reading so far. Well, we have two. We have two pages in this reading. So I feel like there's definitely some kind of offer for you to move forward. There's some kind of good news that's pushing you forward. Um, so you're going to receive some kind of good news in the next 48 hours that is going to get you moving. You know, this could be good news about a literal move. Maybe you're moving into a new place, a new apartment, a new destination. Maybe you have a new job that you're moving for. But I feel like that's good news nonetheless. So, um, some kind of good news that you're going to receive in the next 48 hours is going to get you moving. Okay? Tell me why this tower is in reverse. Give me a message, Spirit. Why is this tower in reverse? The four of wands okay you could be in a separation at the moment aries you could be currently separated or have no contact with someone there could be a distance but you don't feel like there's any need for celebration you don't want things to change you don't want things to i mean you're just kind of disappointed you don't want you don't feel the need for celebration you know, you're just kind of in your feelings at the moment. I feel like that's the reason why you're in this stuck energy right here, this Ten of Pentacles. You're feeling a lot of laziness at the moment. Like, you just don't want to put any of your energy into anything. Which is really not like you, Aries. Okay, give me a message for this King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? The Page of Wands. Someone's going to give you a message. You're going to get some kind of messages with this King of Cups, Page of Wands energy. Okay. Um, it could be someone that you're attracted to, someone that's attracted to you. But they're going to make some kind of move towards you. You know, um, this is also you wanting to explore this love a little bit further. You know, I feel like you're very curious. It brings a sense of excitement, of kind of freedom when it comes to dealing with new love. And I, that's exactly what I feel. I feel like this is new love. This is someone that, you know, you're looking forward to getting to know. Okay. Um, why is this Ten of Pentacles here in reverse? Give me a message. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting your energy. You're saving that energy up. You know, that's the reason why you're procrastinating. That's the reason why you're kind of lazy at the moment. You're not, you know. Um, but this could also mean that you do need to pay more attention to your finances with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Pentacles, right? So you do maybe need to watch your spending. The next 48 hours could be kind of critical when it comes to your spending, okay? Maybe you're spending too much, um, or maybe you are needing to pay a bill, and you need to put that money away for that, right? Um, so really take a look at that, Aries. With the Page of Wands in reverse, we have the Ace of Wands, so I feel like this is definitely not going to be reversed for long. Whatever is discouraging you, whatever actions you're not willing to take at the moment, I feel like you're going to get this burst of energy in it. And it's going to push you into adapting to your situation and also taking advantage of whatever is, in, is inspiring you. So whatever rut that you feel like you're in over here with this... Um, 
tower in reverse and this four of wands in reverse, you're getting out of that funk, you know? You're moving away from it. You, you're finally feeling more free and you're able to be inspired by something. You know, it could be this new love here um, that's inspiring you to move forward, okay? Tell me why the Two of Pentacles he is here. Give me a message. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Nine of Wands. Okay. Yeah, it's time for you to make your decisions, set your priorities, and then stand firm. Okay? Um, I feel like that's what Spirit is trying to tell you. Make your priorities, set your intentions, and stand firm. Okay? Don't give up. It's not the time to give up. I feel like you're very close to whatever it is that you want to achieve. Okay, give me a message for the Five of Swords in reverse, please. Why is this here? The Temperance. Yeah, there's something. Now, I feel like if there's drama, if there's chaos in your life, if there's something that has disappointed you, Aries, it's time to have some patience. Have faith in this situation. I feel like this situation will definitely work out. We have the Five of Swords again at the bottom. So I, I really feel like if, if there's been arguments, if there's been some kind of situation to where there's been um, disagreements, I feel like it's time to have patience in this situation. Just let things work out. Take the higher road, okay? Um, I, I feel like you're kind of trying to find meaning in, in a situation that's keeping you conflicted. Okay, but you have victory, Aries. Okay, you have victory. So let's get into why is the Eight of Cups here in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, the Five of Wands. It's time for you to get out and get more playful. I feel like there's that there may have been some disappointment in your life. There's been a lot of changes. And now, you know, you're renewing your faith. Now it's time to live. You know, there there's something that you don't want to move away from. There's something that you don't want to let go of. But now it's time to have that playfulness. You know, get out and enjoy nature. Get out and um, really live, you know. Feel the breeze, feel the, feel the wind on your face, you know, get out and just enjoy. And I, I feel like that's going to help you so much because you have this inspiration, you know. So with this Five of Wands energy, it could be that you're training for something, um, but maybe you're leaving a job that you really don't want to let go of, but you're training for something different or you're moving to a different department and have new responsibilities. But I really feel like this is really the need to be more playful. You could be really going through some kind of transformation, some kind of change. There may have been something that ended abruptly, you know, or something, definitely something that you didn't want to end. But it could have ended abruptly, you know. And now you're moving on into a different situation. You're transitioning and going through this transformation so now it's time to live and to feel free that's what I'm getting okay um, okay let's go ahead and get some messages let's get some messages what does Aries need to know Okay, what does Aries need to know? There's new beginnings. You're in for new beginnings, you know? And we have, it's time to change the situation. So the, there, there's a situation that needs to be changed, right? Your luck is changing, okay? With this person that may be coming into your life, their heart glows when they see you near. You know, they feel very happy and enjoyed, okay? And there's something that you need to let go of. There's something that you need to just release. 
and of course we have your abundance is on the way so yeah we've seen that with the prosperity lies ahead so definitely some kind of abundance coming forward for you this could definitely be some kind of increase some kind of abundance maybe a new job new promotion um, but you definitely have new beginnings coming forward okay we have at the bottom step into a higher vibration good things are happening Okay, so be aware of those good things, Aries, because I feel like they're going to be rushing in pretty quickly. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel number. Let's get your angel number, Aries. We have 777 alignment, okay? Your progress is recognized and alignment is here. It is within your reach. The whisper is reminding you to stay the course and feel source working through you. Your gifts are being recognized. Your affirmation, I blossom and bloom as I use my gifts. All things simply align as I feel the feeling of the divine. Okay, so you could become be becoming more spiritual at this time. But I feel like, you know, spirit is letting you know it's time to you know come into this alignment in into this alignment of letting what you need go releasing what needs to you know be released in your life be aware of new beginnings and this change of luck you do have love coming in so that's really good aries so that's something to be really uh, excited about as well as abundance so I think that a lot of changes are coming your way. And these are good changes, Aries. So this is your reading for the next 48 hours. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Uh, you can take a look at other readings. And um, until your next reading, my lovely Aries, many blessings, love and light.